my amazing viewers. Thank you so much for joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you so much and remain blessed. St. Francis Catholic Church Owo in Ondo State and they were butchered they were killed, unarmed men and women, boys and girls, who went to the church with the aim of actually worshiping God. And that day, they never went home. Today, I am out again to remind the federal government and also Sokoto State government, I am not asking you for justice because I know you will not give justice. All our leaders have been leaders of injustice, people who have no respect for credibility, for equality, for transparency, and also for credibility. Now we are faced with a situation where one of the parties is actually fielding a Muslim Muslim ticket. Why? And the most painful thing is that this same party has gone ahead to ensure that they hired some fake bishops and today I come out as an archbishop to speak as the voice of the Christians of this particular generation in Nigeria for we must not allow the high office of the prophet and the bishops to be insulted by men because of the greed of wanting to obtain power at all costs. This is wickedness and this is evil. It is an abomination of desolation. And today, I speak the mind of God to all Nigerians who are watching me and are listening to me at this particular moment. A great abomination has been committed in our land. A great abomination has been committed in our country. When big bishops were being hired to come and show their presence as if to say Christians are given support for the Muslim ticket ticket. I need you to know as you're watching me, you may not be able to open your mouth to speak the word or to say anything, but hear me and hear me well. I shall not keep quiet when the altar of Jesus is desecrated by some men. A lot of you might just think it is desperation. No, it is not desperation. What? Bala Ahmed Tunubu and Shetima D is desecrating the altar of the Most High God in Nigeria. They roast some bishops and put this comment on them and insulted the office of the bishop. The Bible said, whosoever desireth the office of a bishop desireth a good thing. And here I am today to say that what the APC leadership have done is an insult to the altar of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The sacred sanctity of the altar of Jesus Christ as I raise this coffin on my head to put an end to the death of Deborah Samuel Yakubu, a student of Shehu Shagari College of Education. And we must also put the record straight and put the records right with all the things that is happening and going on in Nigeria today. Nigeria cannot withstand another ruler who is actually sympathetic to all the evils and the ills that are happening in our nation. Therefore, I am on the street to let you know that every Nigeria must do everything that is possible to ensure that all these men with their money who think they can buy God with money because they feel money is alpha and omega but I want you to know that money is not the end of matter here I am today all those who are wicked and they are evil on this country the judgment of God will soon fall on you hear me and hear me well a lot of them say no these people are bishops you keep lying and lying and lying why would I hide myself if I am a bishop, I will face the press. I will tell the press the truth. 
I will do exactly what I want to do. Hear me and hear me well. This evil must stop. This evil must stop. The altar of Jesus in Nigeria cannot be desecrated. Right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Neither the Sokoto state government or the federal government gave justice to Deborah Samuel. And today, whether you like it or not, I will cause the powers of the spirit to ensure that Deborah Samuel is given the justice that she requires. The justice that should require all the men, all the women, all the boys and girls who are able, who came around together to terminate her life, they must pay for it one way or the other. Look at it, the fake bishops that were invited and hired by the ABC people, those fake bishops, their faces appeared on camera and today we are able to identify them. We are able to know who they are and here I am telling you that those who killed Deborah Samuel, their faces also appear on social media and up till now the federal government has not done anything in order to ensure that they punish the evil and the iniquity committed by some wicked people killing Deborah Samuel gracefully and illegally and extrajudicially. Today, as an Archbishop, I am out to let you know that what Shetima and Tinubu of APC and the leadership of APC has done is evil, is blasphemous, it is an abomination. It is an abomination of desolation, an abomination of desolation, an abomination of desolation, and they must pay, they must pay, they must pay, they must pay. Nigeria cannot sustain a Muslim Muslim ticket. If it happened in Kaduna and nothing happened, it cannot happen in Nigeria. Nigeria is bigger than Kaduna State. Nigeria is bigger than Kaduna State. If Kaduna had a Muslim Muslim ticket and nothing happened, there is no way Nigeria as a nation can have a Muslim Muslim ticket. And by the people, by the people's parliament, these people with a Muslim Muslim ticket, they stand disqualified. The race is no longer for them anymore. The race will now be race for other people. Why? Because they did not put the fate of Nigerians into their mind. They never thought about anything. They don't think about Nigeria. They don't think about the people. They don't think how it will affect us in a secular state. We cannot endure a Muslim, Muslim ticket. No way. It's impossible. And because of that, they are doing everything, everything, everything to make sure that Muslims continue in power. I have no problem with the religion, but all of us know that in the last eight years, there have been killings, there have been maimings, there have been kidnappings everywhere. Another one on the throne is going to be sympathetic to their work. We do not need negotiations now. We need elimination and termination of all those evils that has bedeviled Nigeria, bedeviled this country. Deborah Samuel needs to have judgment. And if we don't get the judgment now, we will get it anyhow. I am not, I am not appealing to the federal government. I am not appealing to the government of Sokoto State. I am telling you that whether you give a judgment or not, I will invoke powers that will come after the killers of Deborah Samuel. And for that reason, Nigeria cannot withstand a Muslim Muslim ticket any longer. No way, no way. You are saying there is no competent Christian in the North. And if there is no competent Christian in the North, why did you go and hire fake bishops to attend the unveiling of the vice presidential candidate of the of the APC? If Nigerian Christians or Northern Christians are not competent enough, it is you that is not competent. You are the one that is not competent. What has Kashim Shetima done in Borno State? This is a man that allowed the driving of terrorism in Borno State the way it is, killing innocent people anyhow. Today, I want to put to rest and I want to give her every serious 
instruction and assignment to go after her killers. After her killers. Go after her killers. In the name of the Lord, judgment must come. Judgment must come. On the twelfth of May, this lady, Deborah Samuel, was great Sunday born in Sokoro State. Why this happened? Up until now, it's because of a statement that she made. Judgment has not been given at any cost or at any level. Hear me and hear me well. This is a coffin for Deborah. I am laying her to rest. I am laying her to rest. Because the federal government refused to do anything about those who killed this innocent girl. This innocent girl, a student of the Shao Shigari College of Education. What was her offense when they killed her? What did she do when they murdered her? In a land where we have law, in a land where we have constitution, in a land where there are men who have gone to school and read up to doctorate degree, and this girl was not given justice. Nothing happened to her. So Godot is quiet and her family have been left to bury their dead. Today I carry this coffin to show to all the people who are in authority to know whether you bury her or you don't bury her. They burnt her, cremated her body without the agreement of the family or neither did she say she wanted to be cremated. As I lay to rest, Deborah Samuel, I will say, if federal government has refused to bring judgment, if the Kokoto state government has refused to bring judgment, then Deborah Samuel, go fight them, go anywhere, trust them in the classroom, trust them in their homes, trust them wherever they are, because you cannot get justice from the government that is in power today. They have covered up everything that is wrong. And I want to say to Nigerians who are watching me, listen me to me right now a muslim is actually in power he knows what has happened she is she is innocent in the eyes of the law except proven guilty the law did not prove her guilty before she was murdered and as story had it they actually took her away from the hands of security officials in the show shagari college of education not only that they beat her to death but they also Burnt her to ashes. And everywhere is quiet. 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 Nobody is talking. Nobody. I will not be quiet. Nigerians must fight to get justice for Kebola Samuel. Because if justice is not given to Deborah Samuel, it may be your sister tomorrow, it may be your son tomorrow, it may be your daughter tomorrow. I stand as an archbishop and I say here today, I am not appealing to the government of Nigeria. I am not appealing to the government of Sagodo State because you had enough time to ensure that those who committed this great sub be brought to law or brought to book. The law did not condemn her. She is therefore innocent and they killed an innocent person and nobody said the word. And here we are. 
faced with another trouble and another crisis. The APC ruling government decided to throw away caution to the wind. They say Christians in the north are not competent. They say Christians in the north cannot rule as vice presidential candidates of the All Progressive Congress, where you have people like Pastor Osiba and John and other great northerners who are Christians who could take over from him. But instead, what did the man do? What did Tinubu and Shetima do? They went out to hire bishops, and these bishops were to show their master. When I say hire bishops, they did not just hire original bishops. They hired the fake bishops, and I have read over the news and over the paper that all the people that came were true bishops. They just came to support them. When we all know now that you paid them 30,000, 40,000 to do the job, anybody that desecrates the altar of Jesus Christ in Nigeria, you will not find peace. You will not find peace. You will not find peace. Your entire generation will suffer for desecrating the altar of Jesus Christ. Nigerians may look at it as just a desperation. No, Tinubu and Shetima are not desperate. They have crossed the line. I am not facing them, but I am saying what they do is evil. Nobody can do this to Muslim. Nobody can can impersonate Muslim Imams and go free. Today, churches would have been burning in Kano. Churches would have been burning in Sokoto. Churches would have been burning in Katsina because somebody has committed an evil. These two men and their leadership of their party, they committed evil. I call it the scene of abomination, of desolation. Shatima and Bola Bully, Ahmed Tinubu committed the sin of abomination, of desolation, abomination, of desolation. And all of them who commit abortion or abomination, you are on your way to hell. Enough is enough. Why do you desecrate the priesthood? Why do you desecrate the office of a bishop? In Timothy, in the Bible, he that desireth a good thing, desireth, he that desireth the office of a bishop, desireth a good thing. Woe unto them that call it good evil and call it evil good. Oh my God, you say these people, they are bishops. That's what you call them? Bishops? Okay, I am going to shock you Nigerians. Anywhere you are watching me and listening to me right now, I am going to prove to you that these people are fake. They are no bishops. The office of the bishop has been insulted. The office of the priesthood has been insulted by Tinubu and Shatima and the leadership of APC. In the name of the Lord, any man that desecrates the temple of God, shame will cover you as a garment. 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 You shall wear shame in the morning. Wear shame in the afternoon. Wear shame in the evening. Wear shame all through your life. Let me show you. Let me show you. A man who had worked for me for over 10 years and was shown the way out was one of those that was hired as faith bishops and the campaign organization and Tinubu and Shepima have said that this is not true. What do you mean this is not true? Here it is. See where he went to hide? Behind the black and the purple. Behind the black and the purple. Where you see the arrow. That is Pastor David Obi. He worked with me for a long time. All the way from Bida to Lagos. Before I transferred him to Ilori and severed him from the ministry. Pastor David Obi is not a bishop look at it i will give you a clearer picture i just wanted you to see see from this photograph you cannot locate him no you can't 
Oh, all of you that desecrate the office of the bishop, fire will come after you and your family. Your entire generation will suffer for desecrating the office of a bishop. I am an archbishop and I will not sit by for you to climb the altar and defecate on the altar. Enough is enough. And who will these kind of leaders become? If they become leaders, what kind of leaders they will be? Liars. Deceptive liars. Shatima and Tinubu have committed the greatest offense against the altar of Jesus Christ. And as a spokesman of Jesus, as the voice of the Lord, I will bring you to your evil. And I say, all Nigerians should listen and hear that not only that these people are greedy and desperate, but they have committed the sin of desecration. And they will not go unpunished. Shatima, you will not go unpunished. Tinubu, you will not go unpunished. Amen. Insulting the office of the bishop. You went and hired them. Please. Not somebody told me. I know him. You want to see it? Come and see. Look at him. In the midst of the bishops. So if the photograph is there, you will see that it's hidden. Zoom it. Expand it. That is him. Between the black and the purple. I know him. I am not talking of somebody that is not known. Tinubu hired him. ABC hired him. And they came and betrayed their master for a parcel of 30,000 and 40,000. And we talk about Judas Iscariot. All of you that wore the garments that is not for your office, you will receive the judgment of God for what you did. Because you allowed yourself to be induced and allowed the man to commit an abomination of desolation and a blasphemy. People will never see that seat at all. For insulting the sensibility of the Christian altar. I want none. No way. Anybody that commits an abomination must eat the fruit of an abomination. Shame will cover you. Shame will cover you. Oh Lord God to whom vengeance belongeth. Oh God to whom vengeance belongeth. Show yourself. Show yourself. Let me give you, let me give you a clearer picture. Now this is him, alone. That is the same man. That is the same man. I am standing here to let you know that God is angry. God is terribly angry with what they have done and he has sent me to warn them because they have done and they have attempted to atone for their sins but atonement is not possible right now because you have already desecrated the altar of Jesus the altar of Jesus has been desecrated the altar of the Christians have been dedicated and all Christians should know that desecration must not be above your head what sin they commit is the sin of abomination of desolation look at how the priestly office was insulted this it's a bishop Tinubu's bishop APC's bishop with cigarettes in his mouth. What an insult to our altar. I stand and speak not only for believers but for all good conscience people. If they were right they would have visited Nigeria and ensure that the ticket
of not go if you say the ticket is not a bad one because Christians are incompetent. Why do you go as far as hiring fake bishops? This is an insult to our office. A man dressed in cassock and was living on his mount. Imagine me on the street and I am holding cigarettes in my mouth. Is that not an insult to the office of a bishop? All those who have insulted this bishop, your days will be full of troubles. Your days will be full of troubles. Your family will experience trouble. Shame will be your portion. You will eat shame. You will drink shame. In the name of the Lord God Almighty, whose slave I am and whose servant I am, I speak and I let you know that you have crossed the line. And because you have crossed the line, you do not require any honor or any respect. You insulted the altar of my God. And I stand here not to fight with sword and spear and traveling but the battle is the Lord I will come after you in the name of the Lord and you must suffer for this evil that's not enough that's not enough that's not enough I am talking about the ones I have confirmed the ones I have not confirmed I will not talk about them enough it's enough Enough. 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 Look at the bishop on Okada. As they were leaving. Look at it. What an insult to the Christian altar. What an insult to the Christian altar. What an insult to the Christian altar. See how evil. See what evil they have committed. Any believer in Jesus. Any Christ-like believer who treasured the altar of Jesus Christ will not allow those who have desecrated the altar to have anything to do. And today, I stand and speak the truth without fear and favor. All of you that seek to blaspheme and seek to desecrate the altar of Jesus Christ by dressing some fake people in bishop wears, in bishop garments, in bishop castle. I want you to hear it from my mouth. You will not go free. You will not go free. You will not go free. The sun will fight you. The moon will fight you. The stars will fight you. All the elements of nature will fight you. The earth will fight you. The waters will fight you. The air will fight you. Fire will fight you. Smoke will fight you. I invoke the powers of the smoke, the powers of the air, the powers of the land, the powers of the water, the powers of the moon and sun against you and your entire generation for desecrating the altar of the Lord Jesus Christ and putting on the garments of bishops on people who are proud. Enough is enough. unjustly murdered by certain people who are very extremist in their religion. We know that in the last couple of years, religious matters in Nigeria have not been a tolerable one. We have experienced an intolerable society in the last couple of years. Many have been kidnapped, many have died, 
Many are still under hostage. Every day there is one trouble or the other. Deborah Samuel happened to be a victim of one of those kind of injustice. We have seen a lot of injustice, a lot of incredibility in our system where people do not give room to anything that has to do with justice. They have found her guilty by their law. But the Constitution of Nigeria did not find Deborah guilty for any crime. And nobody in a country that has a constitution has the right to murder, not to talk of burning her bodies without the agreement of anyone at all. This lady was unjustly murdered and the government of Kotsokoto State has not done anything up until now. The federal government has not done anything up until now. Look, there are a lot of things going on in the, in the media today because of the bishops that praised the unveiling of the GPD president or vice president of the APC candidate. They will definitely not see that seat at all. But their faces were shown, taken on camera, on video, and sent viral across the country. People who did not go to school to learn intelligent information were able to start bringing out these people one after the other. How can Nigerian intelligence, when the video was out, as they were beating her to death, how can they trace the people that killed her? What kind of a country are we talking about? And here we are again, faced with people of same religion. I am not after the fact of religion, but whether you like it or not, we cannot take away religious sentiments away from Nigerian constitution. In 1999, when the constitution was handed over to the then civilian government, it has two ideologies. Ideology number one was for freedom. Ideology number two was restrainment of freedom. What do I mean? We went after the normal human rights ideology in our constitution, and yet there was a contradictory ideology there, which permits Sharia in some other place. This Sharia is restraining it's not freedom at all, at all. How can we work with a document that's so contradictory? Nigerians must wake up and change this. If they don't give Deborah Samuel the justice that she deserves, of course, they have not given her the justice that she deserves. And that is why I am out. I have all it takes given to me by God and send the spirit after all the people that killed this lady at a point when the appetite of Nigeria was being formed, of, of, of South Africa was being formed, and nothing seems to be happening. One former president said, if we cannot overcome them diplomatically, let us use Juju to fight them. Now I am not using Juju. I am using the powers given to me by God. You will stay here and watch what I am going to do. Thank you so much for your patience to watch from the beginning to the end. I hope you have learned something from the video you have just watched. The video you have just watched is to bring information to your doorstep and for educational purpose. It is not to demonize anybody. Let us watch continuously and see who can be able to make a sense out of every nonsense we are seeing. We must continue. We move. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra is here. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you and remember bless. Bye-bye. See you again.